All right, well, here. Okay, she's dead. How many of you are there? Oh, goodness. That's a lot of zombies. It's time to go. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on Alpha 18. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are playing this game on insane difficulty. All the zombies are set to nightmare speed all of the time, night and day. And it's hard as hell, and it's fun as hell. All right, so uh, we are going to continue uh, looting some more POIs in this episode. That's the plan. And, um, yeah, so we don't have any really lockpicks any left, do we? Yep, we've used them all, so that sucks. So we're just going to go in and uh, keep, you know, looking around in these places. Uh, oh, shit! I just kind of ran right into him, didn't I? Oh! Ah, oh, shit. Okay, um... Uh, let's see here. Alright, come here, asshole. Alright, let's get reloaded here. Okay. Um, anyways, as I was saying, <laughs> that, uh, I did not even see that wolf until I was, like, right on top of him. Um, yeah, we're gonna hit, let's, let's hit these houses here. Now, now, remember, not everything is, is a, uh, I was just looking down the street there. Not everything is a, is a dungeon now in Alpha 18, so some houses will have just a few zombies or maybe none at all. And, uh, so we're just gonna keep trucking here. Uh, looks like we... Oh, you know what? Okay, okay, hold hold on a sec. Looks like we just got rid of the near-death trauma thing. And it looks like after we... It, it, it said something about we had a, an XP debt. And it looks like once we paid that debt off, it put us back where we were before we died, which is actually really cool. I didn't think it was going to do that. So I was kind of... um. I was kind of dissing that a little bit in the last episode, and it turns out that maybe uh, that was unwarranted. So apologies to the fun pimps, because it does look like it did put me back where I originally was before we died. It, so I guess what it does is it just, it it pauses where, you know, your XP gain by a certain amount, and then you have to gain the XP. So in my case, I was almost a full, you know, little square here. And you have to gain that back in XP, and then once you do that, then it goes back to where it was. Okay, I'm, I'm down with that. I can handle that. I can handle that. I just wasn't quite sure, you know, how they were actually doing it. It just seemed kind of weird to me, so. Um, all right, so is this house going to be a dungeon or a normal house? Uh, it's hard to say, really. So let's, um, let's go ahead and pop into the... Um, the garage here for starters we'll just kind of see what we got to work with here oh shit we can just go through the front door <laughs> here i'm sitting busting it open we can walk right in through here uh all right so make sure there's no zeke's up there doesn't look like it oh right i've been i've actually been in this place it goes down into a basement that sure smells like a dungeon to me you guys I kind of don't really want to do dungeons right now. Uh, oh, I'll take that. Let's just um, let's just sneak down there and just kind of see what's what. I do have the helmet light now, so you know it's risky as hell to have it on. But on the other hand, now you guys can see what I'm doing at night. We won't have to keep. Messing with gamma settings. All right, I don't see anybody down here. Except for that guy. So what we could do with him is... Uh, okay. We're going we're gonna to use a lot of spikes. You know, th this strategy is going to be a lot of spikes. He could possibly be a crawler too, but... I think he is. Okay, let's do this. Um, boy, I just uh, yeah. Here, we can put we can take that off the tour. Okay. 
Oh, we one-shotted him. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Okay, I'll take it. Um, so, let's switch this back out. And... Oh, that's loud. See, we're, we're at 73 on a stealth meter just because we have the light on. I hope that sometime here soon um, I will come across some night vision. And I hope that it works better than it did the last time I tried it. I don't want a zombie sneaking up behind me. Okay, well, um, that makes me a little nervous. Yeah, you know what? We've got to go deal with that zombie. There's no way I can comfortably do this with... Thing wandering around up there. Let's close that door. Because I need I need a clear path to jet out of here in case the shit hits the fan, which it probably will. What is that? Like a roll of carpet or something? Interesting. Yeah, the <laughs> the light pretty much throws our stealth out the window, doesn't it? Okay, there's a Zeke over that way. And one there, too. That's not... I don't think that was the one that was over here, though. Okay, let me turn this off for just a second. He's going to actually probably be an, a problem too i wonder if we shouldn't if we should try something a little simpler at least until i have you know some more weaponry like gun weaponry with plenty of ammo to shoot stuff with weaponry <laughs> i think that other zeke went over this way okay yeah so that's an i think that's an edgar uh, no, I think that's pink shirt zombie. Yeah, that's pink shirt. He's a relatively easy kill. Um, okay, Baldy was over here. Let me turn my light off for a second. I don't... I don't think that's Baldy. I think that's Little Mama Zombie. Who's really actually pretty fast, too. Alright, well, you know what? Let's let's just try it. And get myself killed again. <laughs> Don't want to block my escape route. It's a thing. I suppose I could close this door, but if we come screaming out of here, something hot on our heels. Is that a Zeke? Yeah, that is a Zeke right there. Okay, so let's block this. I don't know. It's scary. Go away. That is so nerve wracking, you guys.
Okay, so there's nobody in this room here. What about in here? Yeah, there's a sleeper right there. Uh, I can't quite tell who that is, but I think it might be a little girl zombie. No, I think it's Cowboy Bob. <laughs> um, okay, so let's block that pathway. I just wish that other zombie wasn't, like, right above me. Okay, so we need to deal with... Here, let's put a, a block there. I think we should deal with this one out here first. Okay, what outside has detected us? Alright, so we got rid of him. I don't know I don't know where that other one is, but I'm gonna leave these spikes here for now just in case something else tries to come down that way. But we're not we're not leaving our, our escaper out open. No way. If something comes through there, we're just gonna run around them and go out. Oh man, that is so freaking scary though. You know what though? That zombie might actually be in the house. The one that's detected us. Okay, something's getting broken. What's getting broken? Where is it getting broken at? Okay, I don't see anything directly above our head that's getting busted out. So it sounds like whatever they're busting is up that way, which means if they come down through here, I think that's a stairway. You know, then they're going to have to get through my spikes. Okay, so let's go in this other room and see if we can deal with this Zeke that's in here. <laughs> Whoever that is, they're like hearing me. Is there anything good back in here? Oh, man, if... These damn zombies that are outside are just... Oh, look at that. AK ammo, baby. Okay, we need it. Are we fully loaded? Nope. Alright, is there any, any other secrets in here? I don't think so. Oh, right there. Uh, nice! Shoddy shells in a sewing kit. I'll take it. Here, let's close that door. Alright, so... What we're gonna do here... I'm gonna break that. Uh, I think I want to... crossbow over here. So if we turn that off, we're not going to be able to see a damn thing. Okay, we got to keep it on. Oh, what happened to the sleeper that was just around the corner? Oh, those are stairs. Oh, it, okay, I see what's going on. It was that little girl zombie right there. We had, we had woken her up, but she was going up the stairs the other way. Oh, do we kill her? No. What the hell's going on? <laughs> Not sure what's going on. No, she's still around. So this, this is underneath the stairs around through here, then. Okay. That means that this area is clear. And there might be something behind there, so let's uh let's take a peeky. A peeky.
Yeah, she was busting down those. Uh... Okay, is there anything over? Yeah, there is. Food. One T, okay. I think that's it. Okay, so we've got to go through this way. We got to get her to come back through here. Okay, let's take this out. She broke the spikes that I had set down over there. What in the hell is going on now? My, uh... Okay, that killed her. Whew. Man, this is nerve wracking. Okay. So I, I think we've cleared the basement. You know what? That zombie is driving me freaking nuts. We are gonna go kill it. I gotta turn this off for a second. Is it in? Oh shit! Ah! We're bleeding. She is so fast. Shotgun is loud as hell, man. Did I kill her? I'm going to say probably yeah, because otherwise she'd sp still be chasing us. Okay, let's go back in. I don't want to get too far away. That's a... Is that a feral? Uh, I don't want to mess with it. It is. I don't want to get too far away from the house because it could respawn new sleepers. And that would be no bueno. All right, so... Uh, Looting these are probably going to be loud, but... A leather poncho with some dye on it. Pink dye. Yeah, I know. Well, you know what? That's worth 96. I've, I've already got a poncho back at the base. And we need to take it with us the next time we go to the desert, too, incidentally. I need some pants. <laughs> That's what I really need. That's the bathroom. Oh, man. Okay, that door's locked. Oh, shit. Whoa! Where'd that come from? I don't remember putting that there. I 
I just, I don't feel like I have control of this situation. I really don't. Because we got zombies, you know, trying to bust through over there. And then these guys here. Alright, well, here. Yeah, she's dead. How many of you are there? Oh, goodness. That's a lot of zombies. It's time to go. <laughs> here. That is a lot of zombies. That's like too many zombies. Where am I going? Um, this way. Wait. How do we get out of here? I might be like trapped in here. Oh shit, 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 shit. Um, why can't I? Oh, here we go, okay. I, like, totally got turned around there. We are GTFOing, man. Absolutely not gonna handle that. I can handle one, I can handle two. I might try and handle three, but that was, like, five or six. <laughs> oh, shite. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Jeez Louise. That's insane. All right, guys, let's see what we got. Grave Digger mod. That doesn't suck. That's not what I wanted, but it doesn't suck. Sweet. That's like the second meat stew I found in a in a nice chest. It still has a, like a, a big stash up, I think, on this side. The other thing we could do here, too, is we could get... Uh, all the gut piles for the bones. But you know what I think I'm going to do, though, you guys, is I think... Oh, there's a barn there, too. There are barns all over the place. Is, um... Nah, I think that's the barn we did. Well, last... Was it the last episode, or... Anyway, um... Whoops. So, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I think it's day 13, so I think I want to go back to the power station and work on the um, on the horde base. I think we're going to use that for horde base again. And I want to just, I want to inspect it. I haven't been back there since Horde Night 7. I want to inspect it and shore it up a little bit, maybe put some spikes and stuff down. And uh, maybe make a it's a bunker there. Maybe make some murder holes for it, so that we can. Um... You know what? Let's do this. <laughs> this is probably gonna get me killed. But uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, so we can actually you know shoot shoot them a little bit on Horde Night. I think this I'm going to just scrap. Do I get the die? So I don't really give a shit if I get this pink die or not, but let's do a little experiment. If you scrap something with a die in it, do you get the die back? Let's find out. All right. Well, that's not going to show us. We don't need to be carrying that around. Um, I'm starting to keep paper now because of shotgun shells. So, yeah, we're pretty encumbered right now, aren't we? Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Let's um Let's do this. Let's do this. Put this here. All right. I'm going to put that block right there. Okay, so see, there's like a a weapon or an ammo pile right there. The thing is, is I'm pretty sure there's going to be some sleepies in there. Oh, you know what else we need to do here? 
like we need to put some supports here in case. Oh, nice one. Uh, in case a sleeper, you know, falls to the ground and then takes our tower out from underneath us. What's that? One, two, three, four. Yeah, you shouldn't be able to reach four high. Okay, so what we have to do here is we have to try and wake whoever the hell's up in there and have them jump out this door and fall to the ground. Um, so, let's see. Yeah, see, there's a foot right there. That looks like a big mama foot. We got the fat loots right there. So let's see if we can pop... Um, big mama in the foot. And then we'll, we'll just retreat to here and pull this block up. Actually, you know what? Can we see her from out here? No, not really. I don't want to fall off myself, of course, for obvious reasons. Yeah, okay, so let's go, yeah, let's go with our first, uh, our first plan here. Can I hit her head? Uh, okay, that's not quite working out the way I wanted it to. But, here, let's do this. See, they're, they're pretty smart. She... Apparently she sensed that I put a a, a a spike there. Okay. Let's just see what she does. I'm just going to kind of chill here for a minute. You know what else we could do too? Is... Um, Got to be really careful about this. That's pretty much a guaranteed broken leg. E. Yeah, stand back just a little bit more here. Yeah, that's very smart because Alpha 17 zombies would have probably just barreled right out that that door and crashed to the ground, or at least. Okay, well, here, let's try an experiment. Here, let's try an experiment. Let's get our axe back. If we pull this back up, will she start attacking the block there again? All right, let's see if she comes back this way. Is she still even up here? Almost sounds like she fell down. Let's see if we can lure lure her out. I can't get a block underneath that sill. I'm not even so sure she's up here anymore. But I don't know for sure, so I don't want to take any chances. Because see, now the AI should sense that there's a path to me. Yeah, I... I don't think she's up there anymore. Here, let's... Let's pull that back up for a second. Let's just pop this open. Yeah, I don't, uh, now, there could, I guess there could be another sleeper down here, but not likely, because they would have woken up, I would think. Oh, there's glass right there, too. Okay, we need to block that. All right. 
I think we're in, guys. I think we're in. Um, let's do the ammo first. Very nice. Oh, this is shotty shotgun messiah crate. Come on, pistol. Pistol or handgun parts, please, 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 please. Uh, nah. I mean, if we didn't already have an AK, that would have been awesome. <laughs> but we do. That's not what I wanted. Son of a bitch. What's that? Oh, that's a new blood dropper. That's different. Well, doggone it. Okay. Guess the game's going to be a pain in the ass, isn't it? Well, uh, we're going to have to open this the hard way. And it's a 7,000 hit point. Oh, nobody can get up there. Um, can I walk across this? Oh, man, I don't remember if I can or not, but do we need to? I guess that's the important question here. Uh, where is my crossbow? And yeah, I don't know that we need to go over there. You know, a zombie could climb up there and then come across here, though, couldn't they? Okay. Let's just discourage that behavior. We can't get up here, so we're good to go here. All right, well, I guess um, what I'm gonna <laughs> what I'm gonna do is play whack-a-mole with this thing for about ten years. Yeah, seven thousand hit points. Oh, good lord! How many repair kits do I have? I got six. Okay. All right, guys. Um, I'm gonna pop this thing open. Um, I'll bring you back and show you what's in it, and then we'll have to end the episode. Okay? So I'll be back as soon as I open this. See you in a couple of years. All right, guys. We are back, and we just busted that open. Got zombies going nuts all below me. Iron boots. All right. Uh, I will take those. And these, we already have all of this stuff, so we're just going to scrap all of this. So that's not a bad find. It is going to slow us down a little bit, but you know what? That's okay. Uh, let's modify. We'll take these off. And then we're, tr we're trading a little bit of mobility for a little bit of toughness modify. And that'll, that'll actually help give us a little bit of mobility back. Okay, cool. Uh, let's put those on. This we're going to scrap. Um, I might hang on to these as a backup pair of armor. So let's do that. And, uh, alright, I think we're ready to go. Now, can we get down from here? Uh, we should probably see if we can take Big Mama out before she actually does bust our nerve pole here. Doesn't look like she's touched it so far. Hmm. Okay, well, here, let's just go. That was, uh, that was me hurting myself. Okay, we are really slow because we're seven points encumbered. <laughs> Suck it, buzzard. I heard you coming. Um, okay. Where'd that damn buzzer go? Special delivery for feathers. You want to bring us feathers? We'll take them. Well, and rotten meat for our garden, too. And bones. Nice. Okay. Well, uh, that's it for this episode, guys. So I'm going to head home, unload all of our stuff. Uh, that was a pretty exciting night. It's kind of too bad we didn't weren't able to actually finish that first POI, but that just got way too hot. <laughs> that got way too hot, man. So um, we'll we'll try it. We'll attempt it again at some point. You know, I don't know if all those Zeeks were zombies that were in the house already, or if some of them had come from the outside. I I kind of think they were already in the house. 
And if that's the case, um, that's a lot of zombies to have to deal with. But, um... Oh, shit! Where'd you come from, asshole? See him hitting my armor? <laughs> there comes Nurse Nancy now. She wants a piece of old guy. Not today, Nurse Nancy. Not today. Okay. Um, yeah, so, what, what, what were we saying? <laughs> we were talking about something, right? Hey, we ought to see if we could sneak up in that tower. There might be a munitions box up there. Uh, it's probably dangerous as hell, though. Okay, anyway, yeah. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go unload. We were talking about the, uh... Oh, yeah, that POI that we were in. Um, yeah, I mean, that that was a lot of Zeeks, so, you know, we might wait for a little while before we go back to that one until we can actually, you know, have enough ammo to, to really, you know, do it. In fact, I, even if I had just, you know, a pistol with like a full stack of ammo, I would, I would do it, but we, we don't have that yet. I mean, we are looking for a pistol. It's weird, too, because, you know what? Usually, when I play this game, I find a pistol fairly early on. I mean, they haven't in the past, for me anyway, been hard to find. But for whatever reason, because the damn game... Oh, got a buzzer behind me. Because the damn game knows we want one, now it's making it hard on us. Come here, asshole. Come get me. I'm right here. There you go. No, come on. Come get me. Alright. Okay, guys. Well, uh, yeah. In the next episode, what we'll do is we're going to go back over to the power station. And we're going to get it patched up, fixed up. Um, you know, lay a bunch of spikes down, that sort of thing. And see if we can kind of come up with um, a little bit of a, of a defense for it. Uh, I should probably... I want to make some iron ingots, or some forged iron, rather, so that we can um, make some iron bars over there, too, that I can, like, shoot through the floor on. All right, so thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you didn't hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share out the video. Those things do help, and I do appreciate it. And we'll see you guys all in the next episode. Bye-bye.